the buffins in the kitchen are very scientific. <gasps> it's dissolving, Aristotle. And now it's changing colour. They're always asking questions, both general and specific. What does the book say? Oh, uh, perhaps a few more drops. Oh, careful, Newton, the bin's slippery. Thanks, Echo. The buffins from the house next door think science isn't fun. They must prefer to hang around or lie back in the sun. Oh, I wish I had my skateboard. Yikes! Come on! Now, buffins live in covers. That's where they like to stay. Let's see what sort of science the buffins do today. They'd be up by now. They must be. Look. Cases? Oh, they wouldn't be leaving without telling us, surely. I know. The cases must be empty. <laughs> oh. What? No, it's full. They must be going somewhere. Oh, uh. oh Aristotle. Uh. Uh. There. Oh. Madame Curie, there's a lot of cases. I don't think we'll be able to carry them all on our long journey, will we? Journey? They're leaving! Oh, well, that's the last load. <laughs> well, are you going far? Oh, we're not going to get very far if we have to carry all those cases. So, why are you going at all? Well, we're scientists, dear, and we're interested in the entire world and how it works. That's right. So we thought that it was high time we saw the world for ourselves. Hmm. <laughs> but you can't just abandon the laboratory. Oh, no. Of course not. We're advertising for some scientific boffins to take over. Scientific boffins needed to take over working laboratory. Uh, must be curious, keen, resourceful, <laughs> imaginative. Mm. Uh, follow the scientific method <laughs> and be interested in the world around them and the entire universe. Wow. Are you putting this in the newspaper? No, dear. No. We're giving it to you. Yes. Huh? To us? Oh, we wondered if you'd be interested in looking after the laboratory while we're away. <laughs> but we're not scientists. No, Newton, I know. You'd prefer to have fun. Oh, but what you don't understand, Newton, is that science and having fun are one and the same thing. So, while you thought you were just having fun, you've actually been highly scientific. We have? We were? Yes. Oh, what's this? Oh. You see, you're curious, Boffins. Now, do you remember this? If the lever is the fork... And the fulcrum is the cork... You can lift up a tile with, with great, great ease. ease. With the lever much longer... And the fulcrum much stronger... You can shift the whole world, if you please. <laughs> so you're not only curious and resourceful, but you also follow the scientific method. No, 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 put that back, put that back. Oh. I hypothesize a question, is this what is meant to be? Oh, no, 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 you mustn't. I mean, oh, God. We experiment and test. Is our hypothesis quite true? Oh. Ah. Mm. So, that's that. So, you see, whether you like it or not, you're actually scientists already. And eminently qualified to take over our laboratory while we're gone. Mm. Oh, God. 
Gosh. Yikes. So, what do you think? Yes. Um, yes. Mm. We'll do it. Ah. Ah. Good. Now we won't have to carry all these cases around. <laughs> you will have to make certain promises. What sort of promises? Special promises. To who? To yourselves. Yes. Uh. Now, repeat after me. We promise... We, we promise, promise to always wonder about the world around us. To, to always, always wonder, wonder about, about the world around us. us. To always ask questions if we don't understand things. To, to always ask, ask questions, questions if, if we, we don't, don't understand, understand things. things. And never to accept anything without wondering why. And, and never, never to, to accept, accept anything, anything without, without wondering, wondering why. why. <laughs> Oh, come on, Madame Curie. What? Oh. We'd better leave now, or we won't make the end of the street yeah. before dark. Uh. Goodbye, Echo. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Newton. Oh. 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 Now remember, Newton. You're a scientist now, so don't have any fun. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, look. Oh, quick. <sighs> um, Aristotle, you forgot your book. Oh, no, Echo. Oh, no. That's your book now. And take good care of it. Golly. Yikes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Bye. Aristotle, what? You're going the wrong way. No, I, I'm I not. think you'll find if we keep to the right to come. You're wrong. I know what I'm doing. There are so many beautiful stars out tonight, Newton. Oh, yes. And they're round, too, just like the sun. Hey, maybe there are other suns. No, no. They're much smaller yeah. than the sun. Well, I don't know. Maybe the universe is much bigger than we think. Oh. We'll just have to make more observations and devise more experiments till we find out. The problem with science, Echo, is the more things you find out, the more there is to find out. It never stops. Well, there is one way to stop, but I don't think you could do it. And why is that? Because you'd have to stop asking the question, why? Why? <laughs> See, I said you couldn't do it. Oh, we go. Oh, Newton. Oh, oh dear. dear. <laughs> the buffins in the kitchen are very scientific. They're good at asking questions, both general and specific. Once they liked just hanging around and lying in the sun. But now they've found that science can be lots of fun. Question. It's very good for you.